Today's Two Minutes of Science is all about what's inside the hair dryer. We're going to take a look at how these hair dryers function, and also a few cautions about taking them apart. Now, first of all, it's fairly easy to take apart the hair dryer with a couple of screws, and you can pull it apart. Uh, part of the reason for that is the rear screen, which keeps hair from going into the fan motor, gets dirty quite often and you might need to clean that. The thing to be most cautious about is that the whole uh, hair dryer uses a lot of power, more than uh, 1600 watt bulbs, some of them. So in order to do this, you need to make sure that you're cautious about making sure the electricity is off and everything else is dealing with it. The heating coils themselves, they are finely balanced. That is, in order to keep from burning the person who's using the hair dryer, the fan must put out just enough air in order to keep them at a relatively cool temperature so that it doesn't burn the user. So the fan is quite powerful as well. And with multiple settings, then there are multiple settings for what connects to the heating coils so that they balance the airflow to the heat that's produced by the coils. Messing with the wiring can cause real problems because if it overheats and burns somebody who's using the hairdryer that's not going to be good. It's also another reason why these devices are throwaway. If they stop working it's usually not worth trying to repair them other than a little bit of cleaning to get some stuck hair out. Even then, you have to be careful not to disturb the wiring or the connections. 